How's it going guys, it's Davey here from PhoneBluff.com and in this video we're doing a review slash how to on the Smart State X app available from Google Play for free that basically is the same thing as the Smart State app that you see on TouchWiz on the Galaxy S3 which uses the front facing camera to detect whether or not your face is looking at the phone and uh, be able to decide whether or not to turn the screen off or keep it on past the regular system screen timeout um, as a result. So anyway, let's see, let's see if this actually works. It's a great feature, you know, in theory. Uh, we'll go ahead and see if it works. The way you do it is you first turn it on, obviously, when you open the app. I'll just go ahead and check start on boot, but you won't necessarily need to do that. You could choose uh, between a few options over here. You could choose how many scan lives it has. It defaults to two, so I'll go ahead and leave it at that. And uh, if you tap on smart timeout, uh, you could actually go to the accessibility settings. I believe this is only for phones with ice cream sandwich and later. Basically, you just tap on this guy and turn it on so that way it detects the user actions to delay scanning when it's not required. Basically meaning if you touch the screen, uh, it won't actually scan because that will ultimately waste more battery life. You know, you don't. there's no need for the phone to scan for your face if you're touching the screen. So anyway, I turned that guy on. You could also detect the uh, scan timeout. I'll just leave it at default at three seconds. So anyways, let's go ahead and see how it works. I'm gonna press home and uh, show you guys the status. So I'm gonna go ahead and face it, you know, toward my face and uh, see what happens. Actually, first I gotta go into my system timeout. So I'm gonna go to display, the sleep timeout. I'm gonna set it to 15 seconds. So that way we can see if it's working or not. So it's, I'm gonna face it towards me and see if it actually detects my face. And uh, we're just gonna have to wait. So it says scanning, face detected, and uh, the screen's staying on. Let's try to go for another cycle or so to make sure that the screen doesn't actually turn off. So scanning, face detected, and it's working. So obviously, you know, we went past the 15 second mark here. You want to wait one more time just to be sure. And yeah, seems like it works pretty well. Of course, I'm on the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. You know, your results or your, you know, experience may be different depending on your phone. Now it's not scanning. My face obviously is facing the camcorder. So I doubt that, you know, it will work and hopefully it doesn't work. So that way it actually turns the screen off and looks like it did. So, so far so good. I mean, the app seems like it works for me. Um, obviously, like I said, I have the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Um, definitely a feature that I really like. I mean, I think this is one of the coolest features that was on TouchWiz. And to be able to download an app and actually have it on your phone, whether you have TouchWiz or not, you know, use it on maybe the HC One X, HC One S, using on the Galaxy Nexus, and even uh, tablets like the Nexus 7, it's really cool to have it. Um, definitely, you know, something good. I'm gonna go ahead and try to see if I can put it on my face now. So it doesn't work as good, I would say, as Smart Stay on the TouchWiz because you know TouchWiz like you could be, it could be uh, just sitting here and all of a sudden you could turn it to your face and it'll detect it. Where this one's kind of got to be looking at you beforehand, and then it'll detect your face. Let's go ahead and scanning see face detected. So, um, I mean honestly, for a free app and you know for one that isn't necessary, I mean it's still a work in progress. I definitely give it a thumbs up. Um, just wanted to make a quick video about it. Some of you guys requested it, so. That is that. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll put the link to the uh, application in the description box below if you want to download it as well. Alright, that's it for me in this video. Thank you for watching.